what's up guys and welcome to hard drive this is a whole new vlog dedicated to my road towards aew's all out and it is wild to think that i'm actually going there uh this this is something i've never done before uh as far as traveling with friends or anything like that i've never been one to go out and uh, do any crazy adventures like that um, even uh, a pay-per-view, this is going to be my first pay-per-view ever. I've, being from Winnipeg, again, you're so geographically challenged, I always say it, but it's true. WWE comes around usually just for house shows. I've managed to see two TV tapings live, and it was for Monday Night Raw back in 1995, and then they did another set of Raw and SmackDown tapings in 2004. So... This doesn't happen very often, and this is, like I said, my first pay-per-view ever, and uh, it's something that I always talked about doing, talked about going, and especially to like a WrestleMania, it's something that just felt special, like part part of a community, part of a group, and uh, I'm going, and you may remember him from a lot of the Unhacked episodes, Alex Vanna, the guy who I beat for the Canadian Championship and cashed in on. And um, we'd always talked about going to like a WrestleMania together or something like that. And this is literally like our WrestleMania. And it's, it's crazy to have him with me, you know, always talking about this. And we have two very differing opinions on what wrestling is about and, and just our ideas of where it can go and what you're able to do with it. But um, I couldn't ask for a better riding partner in this. We're gonna be traveling 13 hours together there to get to Chicago and it's just going to be this incredible unforgettable experience and uh, a lot of props to him for getting this together um, I'm trying to think to get our tickets we had like two cell phones two tablets and a laptop open uh, waiting in line and we were lucky enough to be in queue of the tens upon thousands of people that tried to get those tickets it's just <laughs> I, I, for some reason, I don't know what it is, maybe it's just because I have never done this before, but I've always had this crazy weird feeling like something's gonna go wrong and totally cancel the whole trip last minute, and uh, when I first got disgust anyways about going to Chicago, I just thought there's no way we're gonna get tickets, but you know what, we'll try it, and uh, sure enough, we got the tickets, and a great section of tickets too. And then I have to get my passport, uh, never done that, never crossed the border without my parents. I think the last time I traveled there would have been like 2001, 2002 maybe. So it's been a very long time, so I had to go get my own passport. And uh, they said it should be here by August 20th at the latest. And August 20th rolled around and I opened up that mailbox and it was empty and I just felt so defeated. And uh, But the next day actually, uh, it hopped up, my, my wife brought the passport to me, and it was just like the weight of the world off of my shoulders, and it's like, okay, this is really starting to feel real. And then I get a message from Vanna that night saying that his car is blown, but uh, no worries. He's looking into it, and we have a backup plan just in case, but um, it's just crazy to think how far this has come in a year. I was never an independent wrestling fan. I didn't follow it religiously anyways. I'd watch the occasional match and followed Kenny Omega and a couple others along the way, but I, I watched All In, and uh, partly because of the NWA and the 10 Pounds of Gold YouTube series, it just really sold me on Cody's match with Nick Aldis, and of course, Kenny Omega's journey too, to, to all of this. It's just been a while to watch the entire thing, and. and that pay-per-view just sparked all this motivation and inspiration and it really got my mind thinking these guys built a pay-per-view around a YouTube show and look at the power, look at the momentum, look at the audience that they have built and just the, the good faith and the honesty and transparency of it all uh, really just lent itself into realizing that this, this is the path that I need to take. I need to start believing in myself more and surrounding myself with groups of people that uh, Nick and Matt and Kenny and Cody and Hangman and Marty and all these guys have been lucky enough to come across along their paths. I need to start opening myself up more to the world and here we are a year later and look what's happened to my social media. I went from 
30 YouTube subscribers to over 500. I've went from like 300 Twitter followers to 2,000. I've met so many amazing people. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have the experience of a lifetime meeting so many of you who've been so awesome and supportive of me and sharing everything and getting the word out about me and my efforts. And, and it's a chance for me to say thank you. And I'm so excited to meet so many new faces and it's gonna be great being there at the Sears Center, uh, taking it all in with all of you. Uh, it's just gonna be such a special moment. And again with Alex Vanna, like this road trip is just gonna create this amazing bond between the two of us. And like I said, um, we have different ideologies, but we're both in PCW, both literally like nipping at each other, trying to see who gets to be the man. Who gets to carry the brand of PCW in the future? And we're literally on each other's heels. We're chasing the same championships. We main evented last year's anniversary show together, both coming up on the short end. But uh, our, our time is coming soon, and there's just this competitive edge out of both of us. We both respect the heck out of each other, uh, but there's a little bit of something there that I can't describe, and it's gonna be amazing just to like be in the car for that many hours sharing so many stories and ideologies and just having a blast and be able to kind of take all the pressure off of PCW off our shoulders and just uh, get to get to uh, know the human sides of each other again rather than just you know the wrestling side of it so guys again thank you for everything next Friday it's the start of it all it's gonna be the road trip it's gonna be the weekend of it's gonna be all out itself it's gonna be the day after it's gonna be meeting all of you it's gonna be an amazing journey and one of the best experiences of my life and I'm gonna share it with all of you guys here on YouTube for hard drive and it doesn't mean I'm giving up no every Wednesday still I'm gonna be coming out with unhatched so stay tuned for those and of course if you're not listening and if you're not subscribed you definitely should be go and find my podcast source code uh, if you go to my Twitter profile you'll be able to see a link there to be able to find where you can listen to me, wherever you listen to podcasts. Like I said, I'm just overwhelmed with the fact that this is a very, very real thing that's happening next weekend. We'll see you all in Chicago. And until then, guys, take care, have a great day, and uh, look forward to a whole lot more of this, and I look forward to the weekend and seeing all of you.